Virginia's Attorney General Jason Miaris is continuing his efforts to support law enforcement. He's having a series of roundtable discussions. This afternoon, he met with agencies from the Highlands and Roanoke areas. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Connor, you spoke with the Attorney General following today's discussion. What are the, some of the things he's hearing? John, these roundtable discussions are meant to give law enforcement agencies a chance to talk about their concerns and their needs. And two of the big takeaways from today's discussion were a need for more money and laws that will help police do their job. I listened to their concerns, some things they want to see change in Richmond. Attorney General Jason Miares wants the voices of law enforcement to be heard. And on Monday, it was the voices of various departments in the Highlands and Roanoke areas. So they want to see uh, uh, Richmond change some of the laws that made law enforcement jobs so difficult the last couple years. One law in particular relates to what an officer can pull someone over for. Allegheny County Sheriff Kevin Hall says a simple traffic stop can sometimes lead to discovery of a more serious crime. And when they can't, you know, pull people over for certain things, and then that leads into people being able to, to you know, transport, you know, drugs and guns and other crimes that are out here that our officers, our hands are tied. But it's not just certain laws Attorney General Miares is pushing to be changed in Richmond. He also is calling on lawmakers to approve a new budget. We have a large investment for both law enforcement and mental health services is being held up right now, uh, in my opinion, because of politics. The General Assembly has yet to agree on how to spend a $3.5 billion surplus. Some of the money is geared towards recruiting law enforcement as departments face shortages across the Commonwealth. We have openings, we have zero applications. This job is not as desirable as it was 37 and a half years ago when I started. With more money and new laws, Miara says we can begin on a road to making our community safer. One of the other reasons Jason Miaris says he enjoys these discussions is because he gets the chance to thank the brave men and women who put on that badge every day and protect our country, our, our communities. In the newsroom tonight, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.